First up, as you may have seen, the Riot MMO has been delayed, like big delayed. Confirmed by one of the Riot Games founders, Mark Merrill, on Twitter, we see in this series of tweets, he confirms they reset the direction of the game a while ago, therefore halting progress. He says they've brought on a new executive producer, Fabrice Condominas, who Mark is confident will lead the game in the right direction. But this also means the amount of time we've already been waiting for the game has essentially been lost. He rounds the tweets off saying the game is at minimum a few years away and that updates will be quote going dark but tells us we should adopt a no news is good news mindset and trust the team at right to deliver something worthy of our expectations. Now I know this sucks, I was really hyped for it too but if the recent Call of Duties and Pokemon titles have taught us anything it's that rushed games f***ing suck and I'm more than happy to give them the time they need to deliver a polished and complete product. Next up a professional league has basically just stopped. This is all due to rampant and I mean rampant alleged competitive integrity breaches. The VCS or Vietnamese Championship Series released this official statement on their media outlets yesterday. As a TLDR, it just says they're postponing games to investigate teams attending the VCS. Upon initially learning about this, I didn't think it was too bad, but then I read some more context. According to the author of a post on Reddit regarding the situation, it has been said around the community that up to two or three players per team could be match fixing, which is literally more than half the league. Due to the action of players in game, integrity gets called into question often. From this post of a Vietnamese League Leaks page, they accused the entire team of MBE for fixing, pointing out the team had just aced, led by 13k in gold, had waves in all three lanes, and didn't push to end. All to drag the game time over 30 minutes, which of course, game duration is something that you can bet on. The remaining group stages of the VCS have been cancelled in favour of the investigation. Now this next topic isn't really a story, it's kind of just something I wanted to share with you guys and get your opinion of. Recently, Valve rolled out this anti-toxicity feature shown on your screen with the paid Dota Plus subscription, where if you pay, you can see the skill range and behavior score of the lobby or game in pre-match, where you can then choose to requeue or decline the match at no punishment. Sounds like if this were a thing in League, there'd be a lot more declines, which is kind of bad, but I'm all for higher quality League games. Those are easily the best experiences in game, so I'm sure with some tinkering, a system like this could definitely be beneficial to League and probably could fit it really well. Now quickly, if you've ever learned something or been entertained by my content, be sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out and you can always change your mind later. Thank you you in advance. Now, here's your spoiler alert for T1 versus NS from the LCK from three days ago. Click off now if you still haven't watched the game. For the main topic of today, we've got another new champion just dominating pro play. This is a Cassante situation all over again, who funnily enough, shares the same champion designer as Smolder, the offender in this story. Three days ago, T1 took on NS in LCK Spring. The game was going really well for T1 with them commanding the game all the way up to Dragon Soul at 27 minutes, where they led by 12,000 gold, also secured securing three Elder Dragons and five Barons. But due to the scaling threshold of Smolder reaching his 225 stacks within the first 20 minutes, closing this game out was no easy feat, and this game dragged on for almost 50 minutes. Smolder alone ended up dealing 77,700 damage. Right? Yeah, he wants yeah. people instead. He's gonna take down Dindin. <laughs> and now we've got a wall coming down. Zeus is going to get that one. As Faker is just gonna have to uh, go into stasis. He is going to be executed. And now Sylvie, he gets a kick and immediately nice, but that's two executes now for Jiwoo, who's looking for more. There's the third one, triple comes forward from Jiwoo. And that will be four as Guma does bite the dust and Jiwoo will survive Quadra 3. NS were in the position where due to Smolder's scaling, they could definitely still win with a random good team fight despite being basically every objective on the map down. That was until Guma had had enough and brought out his famous Varus snipe. Check it out. If you're looking for a steal of some sort, it's just gonna come down to a 50-50, but that's a Lee City kicks him away, and it goes to Forrest! Kuma! Kuma is gonna get it! As you know, Forrest does have a smite of his own. It's his Q button, and he will take it down in the chaos. T1 get it, and they're just waiting for the smolder. There's like negative wait, damage going wait. into him though. Jiu kept alive by the Melio. Meanwhile, Zay is trying to end the game. Timing. Equalizer comes out for a bit of poke, I guess. I mean, he, he avoids the Glacial Prison. One Q, oh! Oh! He's dead! They did it! They killed the Smolder! That's game! That's the game! All they had to do was kill Jiwoo! And they did it! GG, I guess T1 will take this one as they use their third Elder Dragon.
win. However, this play wouldn't have happened though uh, if Smolder support literally had pressed any button, having alt and heal. This game was played on patch 14.5, but luckily enough, we have seen Smolder hit with the nerf hammer in 14.6. His execute threshold was decreased to 6.5% from 7.625%, and allies can no longer push enemies into execute threshold. The champion has to be executed by Smolder, which is a pretty big one. His W radius got nerfed by 10, and his E movement speed decreased by 25%, so pretty substantial nerf. But will it be enough to avoid another Cassante catastrophe? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!